This is Buddy, back with another video, and I've got the brand new iPad Pro from Apple to talk about the student's perspective of this today. It's not the full review, but this is just what, from a student's perspective, why they would want this or use this in their day-to-day -day life. So let's get right into it. First off is the five functions of the design. So you've got this super lightweight design, right? This thing will definitely not weigh more than all your notebooks combined or your folders and stuff because you can keep all that stuff that you normally have in the real world in the digital world. And the next thing is the durability. It's made out of metal, it's pretty nice, it takes a lot of force to break it, and if you treat it as nice as you treat your laptop, then it will last you for a while, especially if you slap a case on this thing or something like that. A minimal case, I've got this little portfolio mini case that I got from Amazon, I'll link below for only like 40 bucks or 30 bucks, but definitely cheaper than the $80 one Apple sells. And then the next thing is, is USB Type-C. So you can actually plug in your dongles and stuff to here, you can transfer videos, files, plug in USB whatevers and stuff like that, and also charge devices with it. This thing is the future port. So this thing this thing itself will charge my iPhone if I plug it in, but this thing has the same cord to charge with as my laptop and also other phones. Maybe the iPhone will have it this coming year, maybe it won't, we'll see. But it's definitely the future of device charging. Now the other thing is is the flat side here with this little indentation here. This thing is for the new Apple Pencil Gen 2. Awesome. It's got this little flat edge so it can wirelessly charge and magnetize itself onto here so you'll never really lose it and you always have a place for it. It can come off but really you won't lose it as much as the other pencil and it's flat, matte, very nice. It's got that flat side so you can double tap to switch tools so you can go to eraser or last tool used or you can customize it yourself and it makes a big difference. Now the other thing, student functionalities. This thing is an app called Notability. You can type on it, like text type, write in different colors, thicknesses, whatever, with the pencil. You can erase, highlight in different colors and highlight. You can even insert pictures and graphs and stuff from the internet straight to your notes and edit them on there, as well as Word documents, PDFs. You can just say open and notability and add them to your notes very easily. Best note taking app, best note taking experience I've ever had. I love taking notes on this. And speaking of which, the battery life. I've taken notes on this for seven hours, studied the notes as well, studied and take notes for seven hours straight, and I only dropped about 60%. I went from 100 to 40 in seven hours straight of using this. The battery life is superb. It will definitely last you all day. The other things I wanted to mention is, yes, it's expensive, so if you can find a college person that either their university sells it for cheaper or that could buy it online at Apple's EDU website, also look at this thing as an investment for years to come. If you get this thing freshman year of, say, high school, you could easily use it all high school, and I'm betting probably all of college. And if you get this thing freshman year of college, easy all of college. This thing is great, powerful, and it will last for years to come. Now the other thing is that I wanted to mention at the very end here is it's not a laptop replacement. Definitely not a laptop replacement. You don't want to be typing out long emails, you don't want to be typing out essays, you don't want to be having that lack of power and the extra functionality that a laptop brings. You need to have both, which kind of stinks, but you definitely need to have both. It just has some features that are missing and it's not completely a replacement for your laptop. But if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And oh yeah, make sure that big red subscribe button is grayed out and you've clicked it with that bell icon dinged as well so you stay updated on all of our videos. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.